Despite popular belief, the polygon is not what we call your runaway bird. And symmetry, I don't even know. It's not what you call a kind of cement. Anyway, um, polygon is not when your bird runs away. It's actually something we're going to be talking about today. It's a very important part of geometry as we look at shapes. What is a polygon? It's a shape. It's a shape with at least three straight edges. The shape must be closed, in other words, no openings. And each side must only intersect two times, once at each end. All right, and we call those intersection points a vertex. So let's take a look at a couple of shapes we have here and see some of them. There's only one polygon on this entire page, only one polygon. We're going to look at each shape and decide why it is or is not a polygon. This first shape here has only one side, and it's round. All right, it's a curved edge. Polygons have straight edges. So this is not a polygon. This one here, again, curved edges. Same with this one here. That curved edge makes, makes us know that it's not a polygon. This one here has straight edges, but it's got an opening. When we have an opening, we know it's not a polygon. And with this shape, it starts here. One line will start here and end here, but it has an intersection at a point other than the edge, right? The vertex needs to be the only intersection on lines. So this shape here has a vertex, 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 right, at each point, and then a side in between each vertex. There's no openings, there's no curved edges, and there's no, like, crossover pieces. This one here is our polygon. Let's classify polygons a little bit. There's an equiangular polygon, and that's a polygon that all the angles are equal. Equiangular. Here's an example, a rectangle. All angles are equal. There's an equilateral triangle. That's equilateral, or the distance. The sides are all equal length. All right? We can have different shaped polygons that have equal length sides. Then there is a regular polygon, and this is a polygon that is both equilateral and equiangular, like this equilateral triangle we see here. All right. Speaking of triangles, we are going to talk more specifically about triangles, because they're a special kind of, of polygon that we're going to focus on quite a bit. So let's get a little background on triangles. Triangles can be classified by their sides or by their angles. We're going to first look at some classifications by their sides. If they have all three different lengths, it's called a scalene triangle. Scalene has no similar lengths on any of their sides. If they have two sides that are the same length, we call this an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle has two sides that are equal length or congruent. We mark that with these little marks on the sides. An equilateral triangle, we sort of talked about this one already. Equilateral means that all three sides are the same length. It's also called a regular triangle. But there we are, all three sides same length. So that's one way to classify triangles, by the length of sides. The other way is by the angles that are in the triangles. Triangle angle. There's an obtuse triangle. <clears throat> if there is one obtuse angle in the triangle, it's called an obtuse triangle. That's like this one up here. This one angle is 110 degrees. That means it's more than 90 degrees. So it's an obtuse angle. That's an obtuse triangle. There's an acute triangle. We like this one because it's so teeny and acute. All right. It's like the Justin Bieber of all triangles. It's so cute. Anyway, <clears throat> you can tell there's girls running around my house. All right, so here's my triangle. All three angles are less than 90 degrees. Therefore, this is an acute triangle. A right triangle, I really like this picture because you can see it in the staircase. And staircases are very good examples of right angled triangles. So there's the right angle. You only have one right angle. And that means that it is a right angle triangle. 
And then there's the third type of triangle that we classify by angles, and that's called an equiangular triangle, which is also an equilateral triangle. It's also a regular triangle. And that means all three angles are the same measurement, and those, that measurement would be 60 degrees. Okay. Wonderful. Now that we've talked a little bit about polygons, let's talk about one of the, the properties of polygons that's kind of fun. Symmetry. Symmetry is some shapes can be folded in half evenly. So let's take a look at this shape. We're going to draw a line straight down the middle, and then we're going to fold it in half. Just grab that side and fold it over. That is called symmetry. If you can fold a shape in half evenly, and there's no overhang on the other side, it is symmetry. It's a symmetric shape. Parts of symmetry. First you need a polygon. Check. Then you need a line of symmetry. Can you think of a line of symmetry we could draw on this? This is a square. That's a polygon that we're looking at here. And where would we be able to draw a line so that we could fold it and it would fold perfectly in half. Well, we can draw a line straight down, and then we'd be able to fold it in half this way. We could draw a line horizontally here, and then we would be able to fold that in half. All right. There are also, with this square, there's also two more lines. We can draw it from angle to angle and fold that in half. Or from this angle to this angle, we'd fold it in half and have a triangle. See that? It'd be a right angle triangle, commonly called a right triangle the two sides that have the same length, so it would be an isosceles right angle triangle. But anyway, that are that is the parts of symmetry. There's the polygon or the shape, and then the lines that divide it perfectly in half. Let's look at a shape. I want you to try and think of the lines of symmetry for this shape. Where can you draw a line on this shape it would help it to fold exactly in half. Maybe, oh, that's not good there. We'll have to move that one slightly. Maybe if we had this line here, right? If we had that line there and we folded it in half, that would be one. Okay. Maybe you can think of another line that you see there, cutting this uh, stop sign looking shape in half. Here's one. Right, if we draw it straight across, we would have one there. The stop sign looking shape, by the way, is called an octagon. It has eight sides. And those are all of the lines of symmetry within this shape. It's quite a few. From each vertex straight across the center, and also from the bisector of these lines, it would be the perpendicular bisector of each side. That is a very cool shape that has a lot of lines of symmetry. It's a neat one to show because it kind of looks like a spider web when it's done. All right. So that's some lines of symmetry. And just in case you thought that this was just about a math lesson, we can look around and see some lines of symmetry. There's a facial symmetry. Some people say that the most beautiful faces, you cut them straight in half, and they would look you know, the same on both sides, be symmetrical. Some plants and animals, and also some architecture. So take a look, enjoy those pictures, and I hope this lesson's been helpful.